Hey guys, welcome to Sandbox Gaming. This is Sim Safari. This came out in 1998 and it was one of my all time favourite games as a kid. I'm just going to jump in and start a new park. Um, so we're going to take a quick look at it, hopefully, explain a few of the systems. I'm playing this on Windows 8. Um, I managed to get it installed without having to download any other programs to run it in. Right, I'll just go choose this map for now. I'm just going to start with a blank game with no plants or animals. Alright, so here we are. This is the safari area where all the plants and animals will go. This is the camp. This is where all the visitors will will come and stay and this tab is the village. The village is where the locals live and you can hire these locals to come work in your camp as like cooks or drivers and then that'll help people get into the park and, and look at your animals. So I think the first thing we should do is let's get some let's get some mammals. I think we should get let's get some ze zebras so we'll put some of those in now you, you need to get a balance of like an eco balance so if you put lions in the lions will eat the zebras if you put types of shrubs and grasses the zebras need to eat those to survive otherwise they will just die off and become extinct so we will get let's get some red oak grass and even the grass multiplies as it grows and expands get some let's get some actually let's get some trees let's get some bush willow see the zebra here is eating grass put some of those in let's get an umbrella thorn an umbrella thorn there Alright, so our zebras are walking around, They're, they look happy enough for now. Now our camp, so this is the main, this is the first building um, where all the tourists will start spawning from. So we can build roads and in the camp stuff this is where all our buildings are. So we've got cottages where they'll um, the guests will stay. We've got outhouses, tents, um, pathways. So let's build a pathway. Let's go out here. Let's build some tents. And they can stay in tents for now. Let's build three tents. Connect them up. Alright, so they're connected. Um, let's build an outhouse so they can use that. And let's build a picnic table so they can sit down and, and they can eat. Right. Put some trees in. If you check the business manager, it'll tell you what you're lacking and, and what you need to get your park up and running. So we need to put a road that goes to the edge of the camp and the park as well. So they'll connect and the cars will drive back and forth from the camp to the park. 
um, and we need to put in accommodations um, to attract tr tourists. So we need eating, sleeping, outhouse, and transportation. So we've got sleeping, we've got outhouses. Um, so we need roads. Let's go ahead and put a road in. Here we go, at the edge of the lot here. Let's go ahead and put that down there. There's the bulldozer. Bulldoze that. Uh, I think we'll just do like a straight line. We'll just clear the path here. Keep it going down to the edge. All right. Now to the park. We want to get. See our grass has started expanding out this way, and the trees are starting to multiply. And by the looks of it, these zebras have been multiplying as well. You need to be careful because if you let them overpopulate you'll just have a massive horde of zebras and nothing else so we need to get some sort of balance happening there's a lizard All right, so let's put a road in put the road through here One thing I do like in these old Maxis games is those the crazy sound effects and Maxis humor. Like you, you don't hear that sound in the game these days. Alright, so we're on zero stars at the moment. So let's try and get one star at least. So we got these zebras here. What about if we should put in let's put in something let's put some meerkats in. So they're cute. Put a couple of those in. And if we put rabbits in, they'll probably just breed like crazy. Wild dog. White rhino. Um, let's put in. Let's put in a, a lion, and then that'll keep the zebra population under control. And let's put in an elephant. Let's put in two of those. And let's put in some birds. We'll put in. Let's put in some stalks. Alright. So we've got a few animals in the park. Let's go to the camp now. So we need. What else do we need? Go to the village and hire staff to run your facilities. Alright, so we need to go to the village. And we need to talk to the village elder. And we need to hire. Let's hire one driver and one cook for now. 
And we'll get an attendant as well. Everyone is being hired. Alright. So now we're paying the villagers so that they can earn money to help care for their village. Now, if we go back to the camp, camp stuff, now we can build cars, let's build a four-door car, so now they can drive, lodge, we should build, there we go, we got some visitors. Um, let's build, let's build some cottages, we can go over here, three cottages, link them up, and then link them up to the road, alright. So we've got tents, cottages, picnic area, we should make a dining area. Let's do that near the cottages. Let's put it there. Link that up. And link that up. Alright. We're on two stars now, which is pretty cool. Now that the camp's running pretty well, let's go back to the park, and oh, the animals look pretty happy. Oh, we got some, there's a carcass there. put in, see there's the the car from the camp taking the tourist through the safari. Let's put in some giraffes. And let's put in some buffalo. some more grass. Then that'll grow outwards. Okay, so we've got plenty of animals out here now. Some put some water in here. And then I reckon we should put some reptiles in. What about some frogs? And put a crocodile in. And put two of those. Winter thorn. Sausage tree. Let's put some of those in. Alright. So the park's looking pretty well. Let's go back to the camp. Got a few people walking around. Let's put another... Let's put a pop-top van in. Alright. Because we've only got one driver, we'll need to hire another one. So let's go back to the village and talk to the village elder, hire staff, and we need one more driver. Okay, so at the moment we're spending $575 on staff, that's not too bad. So now the van's being driven. There's a fair few people, lots of kids walking around. Hope 
their parents are close by. Alright, let's put in, let's put a sour plum in. Put some of those in. And yeah, let's put a swimming pool up near the cottages here. Alright, so we need a pathway. Let's put a path around there. Link that up. Another outhouse. Let's put that up the top here. There we go. And we'll put in was it outhouse? Put in one outhouse there. Another picnic area there. Another picnic area there. Alright, let's put a lodge in. Put a lodge down the side here. They're fairly big. Link that up. It's got the dining area, I've got a, a nice lodge, camp area, and the cottage area. It's looking pretty good. Now, how's the animals doing? A few carcasses around. That lion's still, still alive. We've got some cheetahs. Oh, the elephants have definitely multiplied. There's a fair few more of them. I just think it's interesting coming back to the park and seeing the changes after a certain amount of time. Look at all this grass here. It's all grown out to the side. And it's all these trees are multiplying. These trees here are dead dying, this one's dying as well. So I'm not sure why they're dying. Now crocodiles are crocodiles are not there anymore. But we just drop down to one star. Alright, let's put in let's put in some warthogs. Let's let them run around for a bit. Do we have any meerkats? Must have what's in here? Flamingo? Flamingo? Hmm. Don't know what happened to our meerkats. Let's put some antelopes in. Alright, we can check here how the park's doing. Uh, lions would bring a touch of royalty to our corner of the world. So, she encourages to put lions in. It's progressing. We're not. No, stretch yet. Alright, so put some more lines in, I think. Oop, oh, ran in front of that van. Alright, so we've got our star back. They enjoy looking at the lions, obviously. Let's put Cheetah in. Go back to the camp. Alright, a few people walking around. Yep. Alright, guys, I think that'll do it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. It's just a quick look at Sim Safari. I know I really enjoyed this as a kid and I mean I could sit here and play it for hours. Uh, if you have any questions just let me know, uh, otherwise I hope you enjoyed the video.
remember to like and subscribe for more content and I'll see you in the next video